the election returns. And uh, as we started to see the direction of the voting, I reached out to someone close to me who was at the Javits Center where the big celebration was supposed to occur in New York City, somebody who had been working on the campaign. And um, I just sent him a note and said, are, you know, are you okay? It looks like it's going the wrong way. And I got back a very sad short text um, that read, people are leaving, staff is crying, we're going to lose. Uh, that was the first moment I really felt like we were going to lose. And it was this massive like kick in the gut that we uh. I think the, the biggest relationship was whether people had really routine jobs um, in, a, in an area, and that correlated highly uh, with Trump's support versus And everything. I think history teaches us that there are periods of populism, of, of nationalism, that rise up, and we, that's all the reason we need to be in the arena. That's why we have to work so hard to make sure it doesn't turn into a world war or something catastrophic, but instead is a blip. Is a yeah, and I further, I think it's worth really worrying about. I think, you know, and there's, you know, data that suggests that boredom led to the rise of fascism and also to the communist revolution. I mean, there are many other factors too. That's uh, a broad issue. I mean, beyond, uh, beyond Trump specifically, who I know many of us find very offensive. Speaking yeah. to white men, there's an opportunity for you right now to understand your privilege in the society. Take the opportunity to go through the bias busting training, read about privilege, read about the real history of oppression in our country, and tomorrow night, watch 13th, the movie that is here. If you can't watch it here, watch it on Netflix. Discuss the issues you are passionate about during Thanksgiving dinner, and don't back down and laugh it off when you hear the voice of oppression speak through metaphors, and I promise to do this.